Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Hunter, and I am going to be showing you how to build this type of police car. This car is a small police cruiser, and it's the design I use for my city, and I thought I'd show you how to build it. So, let's get into how to build it. So, to build the police car, you are going to need three white 1x4 tiles, one set of white doors, two of these, the far angled light blue, translucent light blue windscreens, two of these white slopes, or one slope that is like these together. Well, you know what I mean. Two of these, one white 4x4 plate, one 2x4 plate, one dark gray or white car base. I only have a dark gray, but a white will look just as good or even better. Four white fenders. Two of these white like car fronts, modified bricks. Four wheels. And these, I like them having the gr light gray uh, mm, rim in the middle, but white will do but the light gray does look better two of this type of the car uh, like axle pieces you don't want the other type which is like this right here i have the wheels on it but you can see it you don't want that it makes the wheels stick out and look weird you will want these right here it does not matter what color they are one white car roof preferably if it had a police sticker but that is up to you one white one by four brick one trans blue tile one trans red tile one one by two trans red plate two clear cheese slopes two red cheese slopes one dark gray grill piece and one white grill piece. One of these two by four by two thirds high slope with a police sticker on it. You do not need a police sticker, just makes it look better. Boo. So now I will show you how to build it. Step one is take your car frame. Flip it over, put the little axle pieces on the bottom, like that. Then we're now going to do the front first. So you're going to want to take this car front, put on the grill, put on the headlights, take your white 1x4 tile and clip it on right there. So that's what it should look like. It's pretty simple. I chose fairly common pieces, and if you don't have two clear cheese slopes. You can use a red and a blue cheese slope, like a clear red and a clear blue to make it look like flashing lights if you don't have that. Same if we only have one red brake light. So on the back you can also do that. That's one way you can do it. Then you're going to want to take your fenders and put those over on each side. Then you're going to want to take these pieces, clip them Right onto those sides. So, so it should look like that. Sorry, my little brother's in the background with his friends. If you heard that. Then I will now take two more fenders and put those on the back. Then we'll do the back, which is take this car front, put on a white grill, take a to these trans red cheese slopes and put those on like that and then you're going to want to put these slopes on like that like that so that's what it should look like and then you know if you have that one that's connected in the middle which I would prefer where that's all one piece you also would just clip on that but I did not have that so put that there. This is what it should look like right now. So next, 
take your two doors and make sure you have a right and a left. You can tell because if it will focus, maybe. Nope. You can see there's like a little L. Well, there should be, this is an L, so there would be a little L right there. Same so if the right door, there would be a little R right there. It's in white. So it's hard to see. We clip those on and make sure that this is the front and that's the way they are facing. So they should open towards the front. That way, because you don't want them to be backwards. This is wrong. This is correct. So put those doors on. Then take your one by white one by four. Put it right in there. May help to open up the doors when you put that piece on. Then you can just close them back up. Then you're going to want to take your white 2x4 and put that on right there. So that's what it should look like. And take this slope and clip it on right there. So this is what you should be at. Then take a white 4x4 plate and place that onto the black the back. So that's what it should look like. This is the car so far. So once you have put on the 4x4 white plate, it should look like this. Take another 1x4 tile, place that right there. So that's what it should look like. Take a windscreen, put it on there. Then take your other 1x4 white tile and place it on the back. Then take your windscreen and put it on the back there. So now that's what it should look like. You can see the car is starting to take shape. So then take your roof and the red 1x2 plate and whoa, put that piece in right there. So that's what it should look like. And then put that over the top. So now that's what your car should look like. Still looks a little funky, but that is because you need to put on the light bar. So take your red 1x2 plate and your blue 1x2 trans plate. These are both be translucent. Now this is what it should look like, and that's what the roof should be. And so the look, that's what it should look like from the back. Then take your wheels and put those on. Okay, so now that is what your car should look like. And also, now you have a custom Lego police car. So I hoped you liked this police car and I hope to help you build another or new police car for whatever you are doing. So thanks for watching. Be sure to comment on what you think of what you think this is like and if you like it or not. And bye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.